The path that you've chosen to take or to walk in this lifetime is not an easy one. I don't want you to allow anybody to tell you that this healing journey is a walk in the park or a cakewalk. It is challenging. And you came here during this time because you are up for that challenge. When we are navigating this journey, we are carrying with us our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents, and so on and so forth, a long line of ancestors that are constantly whispering in your ear, telling you how you should be or who you should be in every given moment based on what they experienced during their lifetime. That's what we call our subconscious programming. We're not always aware of that fact, but that energy, their personalities are in fact a part of you and they are really molding who you have become in your lifetime. So when we make that decision to, to awaken, to become conscious, to make conscious decisions and decisions with intent, to change or break away from the ways that our ancestors have operated, that takes a tremendous amount of effort and a tremendous amount of energy. When you think about it, it's so much easier to just give in and do things the way that you've always done them, the way that you, your parents, your grandparents have expected you to operate throughout your life, right? But we are here to change that paradigm. We are here to change this matrix. We are here to bring forward a new earth. And in order to do that, we need to be able to take a step away from the way things were done. I'm talking generational ways that things were done. This programming is so entrenched in many of you that it is just part of who you are. But with consciousness, by creating space, by getting present, and feeling, getting in tune with your higher self and feeling the guidance of your guides and your higher self, you could start to take steps down a new path, a path that leads to a new earth, meaning we are breaking away from the way things have always been done and we are leaning into a new way of being and we're doing it really blindly because we haven't gone there before. So when you think about that, fact right there, you need to give yourself a hug, love yourself, a pat on the back for the fact that you are leaning into the unknown. You are breaking away from the very comfort of how things were supposed to be done or we thought things were supposed to be done and bringing forward a new way of doing. That's how we change the planet. That's how we manifest new earth. And we're doing it blindly because we don't know what that looks like. So you have a tremendous amount of courage and a tremendous amount of love for the collective, for humanity, for this process to be able to break away from the known and step into the unknown. And that is the very excitement that we came here to experience. And yeah, it's scary. It's going to be scary because the ego just wants to be able to predict how things are supposed to go. That's why it leans into the old programming, the voices from our parents and our grandparents, right? These old paradigms. The ego brings that up because it makes you feel safe. Well, they did it this way, so you should do it this way. We don't want to rock the boat. But in order to birth a new earth, we need to be able to lean into that unknown, let go of how things have been done in the past and allow the new to come forward without judgment, without reserve. We just want to be able to allow that energy to flow. And yeah, it's going to feel scary at times. It's going to feel uncomfortable at times. But that's the magic of the journey. When you can lean into those frequencies and allow yourself to feel it, the unknown then becomes exciting. All that fear turns into excitement as we allow new ways of being, new experiences, new magic to unfold right before our eyes. We're, we're awakening and activating DNA that has been long dormant. This is DNA that because of ancestral traumas and fears 
have been closed off. It's been shut down to keep you small, to keep you operating within a very narrow bandwidth of consciousness. You could call it the safe zone, the comfort zone, the predictable zone. Well, that is being all blown out of the water as our star guides and your higher self comes in closer to your field. Your field starts to expand. You bring that energy into your body. You start to bring up this dense energy to be experienced, to be processed, to be felt. All those things that felt uncomfortable. You are courageously standing in the center of that and allowing yourself to finally feel it. It's ancestral energy, a lot of this. It goes way, way back. They are coming forward to be seen and to be felt. And in that process, you are opening up new doors that lead to magical new realities. You are so, so powerful in your ability to transform this planet, to transform the energy, to make this an environment where higher frequency beings can come in and be experienced by you. All of these gifts that you have that have been locked away, your psychic abilities, all the clairs, telepathy, all of these are starting to become known again or remembered once again. They are lighting up, they are turning on, and that is because you are releasing old ways of being where you were told that those didn't exist. You are accepting the fact that the magic is within you, that the magic can come forward, and that you can perceive that magic. Again, can you understand how truly powerful you are to be able to step away from old control mechanisms, old ways of operating, lower frequency timelines, dimensional fields, and allowing the new to move through you without even knowing what that looks like or what that experience feels like. That is absolutely amazing. And you are incredible for being able to experience this and just being able to come in here at this time in the heaviness to be able to move this new way of being through you. That is so so incredible. Again, give yourself a big hug. Show yourself some love. This is a very, very powerful time. The old energy is dissipating. It can no longer be held in the Earth's energetic field. It's being released. Yeah, it looks scary, right? As this energy comes up, it's been repressed. Nobody wants to feel it, but it's coming up to be felt. So we feel that energy. We feel that energy and we love into it and we make space for the new to come forward. That's how we manifest a new earth. That's how we make the frequencies on this planet conducive to being able to reconnecting with all of that magic and allowing yourself to experience that magic. Once again, this is a, an amazing time. This is a truly powerful time. You are an integral part of this journey. Do not sell yourself short. You are doing an amazing job. Much love from me to you. And thank you so, so much for joining me during this magical time. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you.